According to some in the atheist community, religious belief is a kind of mental illness or neurological disorder. This is an opinion that has been expressed by such prominent voices as Richard Dawkins and Bill Maher. The thinking seems to be that because certain religious beliefs look so absurd, to these atheists at least, and yet manage to be quite convincing to the believers, it must be the case that mental deficiencies are the cause. Sadly, this view is often merely assumed to be true and contributes to the stigmatization of those with actual mental disorders. In the last episode of the Armchair Atheism podcast, I spoke with Dr. Kevin Shellbrock about some of the complexities involved in how we define and understand religion. Religion is not just about belief, but also consists of rituals, religious experiences, and more. A number of religious practices and behaviors even seem closely related to our other regular forms of cognition and behavior. This certainly complicates the naively simplistic picture of religion as a fixed concept that can be explained in terms of any single cause like pathology. When it comes to the science, the evidence is unequivocal. There is a large body of research to show that religion is a natural byproduct of cognition. Daniel Dennett has made this argument in his book Breaking the Spell, as has Pascal Boyer in his work Religion Explained. Many studies exist that establish a link between pro-social behavior and religious belief. As Matthew Facciani points out in an essay on the subject, mental disorders are maladaptive by definition, yet there is substantial evidence indicating that not only is there nothing inherently maladaptive about belief in a supreme being, but quite the opposite is found in the literature. By the numbers alone, we have good reason to accept that religious belief is a byproduct of our natural psychology. Atheists have long been in the minority throughout history. To imagine that everyone else, from past to present, has a mental disorder is something that beggars belief. Of course, to call religion natural doesn't mean it's good or bad, only that it is based on parts of our normal mental functioning. As Pascal Boyer puts it, religious thought activates cognitive capacities that develop to handle non-religious information. Something of particular interest that further helps to show this is the correlation that religious belief has with intuitive thinking. Some studies have suggested that analytic thinking undermines religious belief, but all this really shows is a difference in method. Both intuitive and analytic thought are natural parts of our cognition. Among the experts, there also seems to be pretty much unanimous agreement that religiosity is not a mental disorder. In an article at Pathios, Sincere Carabo documents the responses of dozens of researchers he personally contacted on the matter. Their responses concur with many of the arguments made in this video. Labeling religion a neurological deficit or a mental illness is a thoughtless and careless way of dismissing something to which you don't relate. It's an ad hominem attack against the religious, and an ableist one at that. Calling this out won't prevent us from leveling other, far better criticisms against religion. On the contrary, it will demonstrate a commitment to the evidence and to values that we in the atheist community, and especially the humanist community, profess to uphold. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, or share it with others online. For more content like this, you can check out godlesshaven.com, as well as our Facebook and Twitter pages. Anything you can do to support us is always much appreciated, even if only helping to spread the word. But we also have a link to donate at the top corner of our website. Until next time.